Hi, this is Deborah Sable Thornbrew, and in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to create a customized personal template in Word 2016. On my screen I have Word 2016 open, but I don't have any document on the screen. So what I'm going to do is go to the upper left corner and click the File tab, which brings me to the Backstage view of Word. And then I'm going to click New here in the upper left area. When you click New, it brings up a whole bunch of templates that Word has pre-created for your use. You can scroll down through the templates and pick out one that you want to use, or you can build your own template from a blank document by clicking Blank Document. However, I think that it's probably easier for most beginners to just pick one, pick a template that's close to the one you, you would like to have for yourself and then just modify that template and then save it as a whole new template as a personal one. So let's say I want to choose this one, the student report template, and I want to create my own personal template based on that one. So I create the document, I build the document from the template. And what I'm going to do is make changes to this document and then save it as a new custom template. So let's say I want to make some changes and customize this document. Let's say that um, the picture here, maybe I want to change the formatting of it, so I'm going to select the picture, go up to my Picture Tools Format ribbon, and uh, choose something different, a different format for it. Give it a borderline, and maybe I also want a page border, so I may go to the Design tab, and then over here on the far right there's Page Borders, and I can just choose a basic border. Okay, so there's my page border for this cover page. And then also I want to change the uh, font style that's down here in these placeholders. I don't want this particular font. Maybe I prefer a different kind, so I'm going to go up here and choose something completely different. And maybe I even want some color behind it. So I'm going to choose the entire box here, go to Format, go to Shape Fill, and uh, go and pick something appropriate. Well, sort of appropriate. OK. So I made some changes. I may even make this a little smaller picture. Maybe I don't want it to be quite so big, so I'm going to see what that looks like. Zoom back out. Okay. So let's say I made these changes and I decide that this is going to be my own personal custom template. So here's what I do, have to do. Once I have it all set the way I want, then what I have to do is go to the File tab and I have to choose Save As. I'm going to give it my name, Deborah's Report Template. And the most important part of this whole process is that before I click to save this, I need to change the file type. If I just save it the way it is, it'll just be a Word document. It won't be a template at all. So what I have to do is click here where it says Word Document and choose Word Template. Now notice that when I choose Word Template, when you choose that style or that uh, file type, what happens is Word automatically changes the location of where this template's going to be saved, what, where this file will be saved. And it always goes here to the Custom Office Templates folder inside the Documents folder. And sometimes it's a little bit hard to, to discover where this is. I mean, if you're using a Windows 
PC, you would go to the hard drive, and then go to users, and then go to your name. Uh, whoever owns the computer, the name would be there, and then documents, and then custom office templates. Please remember this. Don't change this location. Because when you're using your personal custom templates, if you, cho if you change the location, to some other place, then the next time you want to try to use this template, Word will not find it. You won't be able to find it anywhere. It's really, it's just one of those things, it's best to just leave it alone. So I'm going to leave it like that. I'm going to click Save in the lower right. And here's my title at the top, Deborah's Report Template. So now I'm going to close this. And let's say that um, it's couple months from now and I decide that I want to write a new report but I want to use that template that I designed. So here's how to find it. You click File, you click New, and automatically what happens when you click New is all of the preset templates show up, right? These are all the templates that that Word has in its uh, library for you. Well, what you need to do to find yours is to change from Featured here to Personal. So click Personal and then any custom templates you created and saved as a template will show up here. This is that infamous secret location called Custom Word Template. So when you click on this, it will then create a brand new document based off that template. Notice at the top of the screen it says document 4. It would say document 1 or 2 or 3, however many times I've, I've created documents based off this template. But what happened was it created a copy of the template and cr built a document based on that template copy and it put the template away. This is not, I'm not looking at the template anymore. Right now I'm looking at a brand new document based on the template. So whatever I do to this document right now, if I save it, and I just save it as a Word file, that's all this is, one single document saved based off of a template that I designed. Okay, so if I were to close this, maybe I save it and I close it, I'm not going to save it, but if I did, I would, it would be saved just as a document, not as a template. So if I ever want to use that template again, Again, I would click File, New, Personal, and there's the original template that I designed. And if I click it again, now it'll say Document 5. This is the fifth document I've built off of that template. So it's as easy as that. All you got to do is design your template, save it as a Word template file, don't change the location, and that's all you have to do.